So um, <clears throat> tonight I've seen a lot of great graphs. They're really nice. Um, but I'm not seeing anything about special ed. And uh, as we all know, it's a crisis in Texas. We are under-identifying special ed kids and we're not serving them. So as a commissioner, what are you going to do to put resources behind that? And how are you going to fix the problem? Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't have those, uh, the detailed slides on the action plans related to the, um, um, each of these, but um, you'll, there's, a, in fact, a, um, a full action plan that we have related to um, support for students and the special education um, continuum. Um, we are, in fact, um, substantially changing our, um, our approach to supporting special education students at TEA, um, both from a practice standpoint and in our staff and from a rule standpoint. Um, we recently uh, listed, I think, 26 specific positions in special education um, to uh, build out expertise and technical supports and all manner of high incidence, low incidence disabilities, um, which is a significant shift in behavior for the state of Texas. So um, uh, I'm, I'm committed to ensuring that we improve um, the supports that we offer to all of our kids, special ed included. And I'm sorry I don't have the slide that um, details that, although I do have, if this thing cooperates, um, this is a slide on what the new um, report card for um, the STAR test, I think I mentioned that earlier in terms of resources to try to advise parents on the TEKS. Um, so the, the, this is a little booklet you'd have to imagine, and so the, the left-hand uh, side shows resources that, um, that you can use as a parent to, try, to drive um, uh, learning up for your student. Um, on this, it shows um, performance in terms of proficiency and then in terms of growth. There's a Lexile adjusted um, uh, recommendation for reading because we provide each student's Lexile level um, to help inform summer reading and, and out of school uh, reading supports. 